Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16, the preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A just weight and balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to uh, kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favour is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly, than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath, hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are, as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. I wonder, are you on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? If you were to die right now, right this morning, would you be in heaven? Or would you be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who desires this morning to be your Saviour? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what God wants for you this morning. That you would become a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That one who died upon the cross and became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so righteousness can only be given to us from God and it's God's righteousness. It's not our own righteousness whatsoever. All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags in the sight of God. He's not interested in them. He's only interested in the righteousness of his beloved son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross for your sin and mine. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have that everlasting life that can only come through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? He that laboureth uh, laboureth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as a burning fire. 
A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbour, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to the, uh, devise forward things. Moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. And the hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Proverbs 17 Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than an house full of sacrifices with strife. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causeth shame, and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The fining pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, but the Lord trieth the hearts. The wicked doer, sorry, a wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it, whithersoever it turneth it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than an hundred stripes into a fool. An evil man speaketh only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall he send shall be sent against him. Let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it? A friend loveth at all times, and a father, uh, sorry, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands, and becometh surety in the presence of his friend. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. He that hath a forward heart findeth no good, and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief. He that begetteth a fool getteth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom uh, to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the end, so in the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her, her that bear him. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for uh, equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Uh, Proverbs 18, Though, through desire a man having separated himself 
seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, they and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and as an high wall in his own conceit. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honour is humility. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbour cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contention to cease, and parteth between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtain, obtaineth favour of the Lord. The poor useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. That's for the believers. It's a message for the believers. If you're not a believer, and that's why I'm here this morning, you need to become a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can have forgiveness for your sins this morning through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Now, what do you need to do? You need to come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. Be honest before the God of heaven and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Proverbs 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbour. The false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favour of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, how much more do his friends go far from him? 
he pursueth them with words, uh, yet they are wa wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. The false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favour is as dew upon the grass. The foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and he which hath, uh, sorry, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father, and chaseth away his mother, is a son that causeth shame, and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge, an ungodly witness scorneth judgment and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for the scorner, and stripes for the back of fools. Yes, we need to understand that it's very foolish not to believe that God exists. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. I wonder, does that describe you this morning? That you don't even believe that there is a God out there that created all things, you see, God created all things by Jesus Christ. And this is what we've got to understand, that you and I have been created, and we've been created to worship God and to glorify God. And we're not doing that when we're sinning, and we need to have forgiveness for our sins. And that's why I'm here this morning. I want you to know that your soul can be saved, and your sins can be forgiven, and you can have a home in heaven through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross of Calvary, that your soul could be saved. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ died, that you and I might live. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. Scripture says that, and because I live, ye shall live also. That's what he said. They were the words to the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, while the Son of God was still here on earth, before he left to go back to heaven, from whence he came from. You see, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. The Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven, was clothed with a body, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man upon the cross. That he by the grace of God, as I've said, should taste death 
for every man. If you were the only person in this whole wide world, the Lord Jesus Christ died for you as an individual. Now, your eternal destiny depends on what you do with Jesus Christ. You'll either be in heaven through faith in Christ as your saviour, or you'll be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who this, this morning desires to be your saviour. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. I wonder have your sins been forgiven? Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you and thanks for listening. Proverbs 19, Proverbs 19, Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips um, and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteneth or hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbour. The false witness shall not be unpunished, but and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favour of, of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth, giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. The false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favour as the dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while uh, there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and rejoice in, and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. For there, sorry, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. 
He that wasteth uh, his father and chaseth away his mother is a son that causeth causeth shame and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of fools. Uh, Proverbs 20 Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion. Whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honour for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plough by reason of the cold, therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim their sorry. Most men will proclaim every one his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find the just man uh, walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Diverse weights, or different weights and uh, diverse measures, both of them are alike abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord hath made even both of them. Love not sleep lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is naught, it is naught, saith the buyer, but when he is gone his way, then he boasteth. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him, for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice uh, make war. Uh, He that uh, goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets, therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not thou, I will uh, recompense evil, but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee. Diverse weights or different weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It is a snare to a man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattereth the wicked, and bringeth the uh, wheel over them. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upheld by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the grey head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts of the belly. Uh, Proverbs 21, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of waters, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth pondereth the hearts. 
To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice, uh, and high look, and a proud heart, and the ploughing of the wicked is sin. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them, because they refuse to do judgment. The way of man is uh, forward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. It is better to dwell, dwell in a corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desireth evil, his neighbour findeth no favour in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise, and when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. The righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked, but God overthroweth, overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself but shall not be heard. A gifted secret pacifieth, pacifieth anger, and a reward in the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. But a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honour. A wise man uh, scaleth the city of the mighty and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Proud and haughty scorner is his name who dealeth in proud wrath. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labour. He coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. A wicked man hardeneth his face, but as for the upright, he directeth his way. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Proverbs 22. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favour rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together, the Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honour and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the a borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fa uh, fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, and... Um, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. 
Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a line without, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women The mouth of strange uh, women is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall uh, withal be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in the Lord. I have made known to thee this day, even to thee, have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge? that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate, for the Lord shall plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt um, shalt thou not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou uh, one of them that strike hands, or of them that are shorties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men, or average men. They'll stand before kings. That's uh, someone who's diligent in his business. Well, there are many people in this world, and they're slothful, they're lazy in other words, just wanting to sponge off the government or whatever. But you and I have to realise that we have a living to make, we need to make a living. There are certain people who can't work, I understand that. There are many people who are just lazy. And you and I have to realise that we are sinners in the sight of God when we're born into this world. We need salvation for those sins, we need forgiveness for those sins. The only way we can receive forgiveness is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved as a result of your right response to the Lord Jesus Christ. What will you do then with Jesus which is called the Christ? He'll either be your saviour or he'll have to be your judge. You must make that decision. Make a wise choice this afternoon. Get right with God as a result of repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner. Be honest before the God of heaven. Yes, I realize that I am a sinner. But thy son has died for me upon the cross, and then all you simply need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. So if you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening.